Hello, and welcome to my 3D Point Cloud Masterclass in Cloud Compare. My name is Abdur Isaac, and I'm a PhD student working on 3D Point Cloud Processing. I'm thrilled to have you here with me today. Throughout this course, we'll be exploring the fascinating world of 3D Point Clouds and how to leverage Cloud Compare to extract valuable insights from your data. By the end of this course, you'll have a deep understanding of Point Cloud Processing, as well as the skills and knowledge necessary to apply it to real-world scenarios. So let's dive in and get started. We believe in learning by doing. That's why our course is designed to provide both a theoretical and practical learning experience. Throughout the course, you'll have access to lectures, practical tests, and quizzes, which will help reinforce your understanding of the material. Whether you're a student, a professional, a manager, or a researcher, this course is designed to help you learn and grow. Now let's look at the course content. This course is divided into nine sections, each focusing on a different aspect of 3D point cloud processing. In the first section, we'll start with an introduction to 3D point clouds and cloud compare. Then we'll move on to visualization, filtering, registration, segmentation, classification, meshing, and change detection. Finally, we'll wrap things up with a conclusion. But that's not all. We also have a bonus section where we'll cover some additional topics that will help you take your 3D point cloud processing skills to the next level. Let's start with the basics. In the first section of the course, we'll introduce you to 3D point clouds and their definitions. We'll also give you an overview of Cloud Compare, a powerful open source software for processing and analyzing point clouds. But don't worry, this section is not all theory. To make sure you've grasped the basic concepts, we'll wrap up this section with a quiz. The section two includes several chapters that will guide you through the process of working with 3D data in Cloud Compare. You'll learn how to download and install Cloud Compare, explore its user interface, open and manipulate 3D data, work with supported entities, navigate and display your data, and use some useful shortcuts. By the end of this section, you'll be ready to visualize and manipulate 3D point clouds like a pro. Moving on to section three, this part of the course is all about analysis. We'll dive into point cloud filtering, tiling, and subsampling, as well as how to assign raster values to point clouds. You'll learn how to create DSM, DTM, NDSM, and contours from your data. We'll even cover how to extract profiles and sections and calculate volume. This section is packed with practical tips and techniques to help you get the most out of your point cloud data. Section four covers registration techniques using ICP, iterative closest point, and picked points. You'll learn how to register point clouds accurately and efficiently using these techniques. At the end of the section, there will be a quiz to test your understanding of the registration theory. Segmentation is the focus of section five. We'll start by discussing clustering using connected components, which is a simple and effective way of grouping together adjacent points that share similar characteristics. Then, we'll apply this technique to make an instant segmentation of buildings, which is the individualization of each building in the point cloud. This is particularly useful for tasks such as building modeling, assessment of building modeling, assessment of building condition, and change detection over time. By the end of this section, you will be able to perform efficient and accurate segmentations of your point clouds in Cloud Compare. Moving on to section six, which is all about classification. In this section, we will cover how to create geometric features and use Canupo plugin for binary classifications in Cloud Compare. We will also discuss some of the key techniques used in point cloud classification. By the end of this section, you'll have solid understanding of the classification process and be able to apply it to your own point cloud data. And of course, we will wrap up this section with a quiz to test your knowledge of 3D point cloud classification. In this section, we will learn how to create a mesh from a point cloud, which is useful for 3D modeling and visualization. First, we will explore how to create an ambient shadow effect on our mesh, which can add realism to our 3D models. We will then move on to the main topic of meshing, where we will learn how to turn a point cloud into a mesh. We will also cover techniques for improving the quality of our mesh, such as smoothing and simplification. And finally, we will explore how to make a good rendering and animation of our meshed point cloud lab. In this section, we will focus on change detection. We will explore two methods to detect changes in point clouds. The first method is distance calculation cloud to cloud, and the second is M3C2. We will also learn how to quantify the change range. For example, measuring the height of a new building. 
By the end of this section, you'll be able to apply these techniques to detect changes in your own point cloud data. As always, there will be a quiz to test your knowledge on the topic. Now that we have covered all the main topics of this course, it's time to wrap things up with a conclusion. Throughout this masterclass, you will have learned a lot about 3D point cloud processing using Cloud Compare. We covered various topics, including visualization, filtering, registration, segmentation, classification, meshing, and change detection. I hope you will found the course helpful and that you gained valuable knowledge and skills that will help you in your work. Remember, the best way to learn is by doing, so make sure to apply what you've learned to real. The bonus section will teach you how to use Cloud to compare from the command line interface, which can be very useful for automating repetitive tasks. You will learn how to create batch processes that will allow you to merge multiple scans with just one click. This will save you a lot of time and effort. This is the end of my presentation, but it's just the beginning of your journey into 3D point clouds. Don't hesitate to enroll in my course now to benefit from lifetime access on Udemy with no prerequisites required. You'll have full access to all course material, including the bonus lecture on command line interface at the best price possible, approximately 60 euro, valued at 500 euro. Join me on this exciting adventure and discover the full potential of 3D point clouds.